think guys things going to work? I think so. feet right there so the sun helps gets the rubber nice and soft winter time this would have been really really hard so just the, the, the hose will be really, really stiff. Now is the time, I got good sun. Now is the time to do this. I got a long way to go. Whoa. Oh, that thing almost came off. gonna put it in here all messed up like this because I can't be looking at both things Why? Why? Relax. 
right now. So this is the nozzle this truck is I'm going to put in this uh, jet truck. I bought these on eBay, really cheap, and uh, so it's spinning too fast. So that means that the, the I can never remember what that juice for the Warhawk is. I can never remember the name, but we just got to put some inside because this is spinning too fast. So what happens is when it spins too fast, it doesn't cut trying to do that and uh, the guy on eBay I'm pretty sure he didn't even know what he was selling so we don't know the gallons from in there or anything like that so it's called Jetta Depot and they send me you know you tell them what you're running and uh, how much hose you have and they send they send you the proper uh, orifices for it so. I'm going to do this today. So you're supposed to remove the head first. This thing is welded together in there. That's interesting. I need a bigger vise. idea how to continue here. I mean both of these parts move. So how the hell this is welded to this. Hmm. I gotta watch that video again.
I'm assuming these holes here is supposed to stop it from spinning. Is that what this is? The video tells you to take this, but I think I can just pour that liquid in here. Let's, let's leave it down like this for a little. Oh no, there we go. There we go. Anything else? I mean, this thing had no liquid at all. It's not bone dry, but there was no liquid in it. Hmm. Well, that explains it. I'm not concerned about the bearings because it was actually spinning too fast is the problem. Alright, so let's put some liquid in there. Whatever that's called. I got like a hundred of these things. Now they're all going to be gone. I'm sure I can. I'm not Bought a lot of worlds. Here we go. Viscous. That's the name of the thing. Viscous. much to put in there, I have no idea. But this is supposed to slow down the rotation. I mean, I think if I overfill it, it would just, it would just start coming out of the side, like, out of the sides, like a, like a grease fitting. So see if he drinks it. I see some bubbles. So some is making it down there. See maybe if I spin this will help it. Some of it made it in the where the water goes. Some of it made it in there, so we're just gonna blow that out with uh, the air gun.
it's making his way down little by little. He, uh, give it a few minutes. It's got about a quarter of an inch. We'll come back and we'll see if he's, uh, if it has, uh, worked his way down the other bearings. Just went up and down like that. Oh, he took the whole thing. Oof, bring that thing over here. So that big bubble came out and a bunch, a lot of fluid made it down there. Now, I'm confident. I think this is going to work just fine. There you go. Let's pull one more time. Take it off. a few minutes. Thing is round. Round. Round, baby. Thought that was just gonna come off easy. Gotta be mind. Let's try the spikes. My impact. Wait, I think Raymond has an impact in this truck. Nope. Oh well.
does have a lot of more resistance. All right, let's go ahead and give this a shot. All right, folks, here it is. She is white now. She's full of LEDs all over the place, but the uh, paint lamps, she has a little decals on. Well, she's looking pretty. Let's see if I can find a picture. I'll put a picture. I'll show you what this shirt looked like before. It didn't look like this. Yes. All right. <clears throat> so, what did we do with this truck? I got this truck, I think, about probably six months ago. I got it from guys in Staten Island. I think I paid 13 grand for it. And uh, we did a lot of things. We, first of all, everything underneath these boxes was rotten away. So we put new diamond plate two brand new diamond place sections on this side and the other side also the biggest project we had with this truck was down here you see that wood in between the chassis and the, uh, the equipment it was all rotten away so we had to lift it up put a new piece of oak all across brand new piece of oak and new uh, what do you call seat clamps to secure them we have to cut them out and uh, and that was about the biggest project and the most expensive project cost me about 1200 bucks to do that I had to lift the uh, I, had to, I, need, I needed some help to do that so and everything else was just paint LED lights put the camera up there uh, a beacon light I was able to fix this lights right here Let's see there you go that one burned out, so I gotta replace it. Started smoking right away. So, and uh, let me see what else I did to this. I put the toolboxes back. I drained. I serviced the Dude's engine. Changed the filters. Put new oil on it. Synthetic oil. I also did a flush on this crankcase and on the pump. So it is fully serviced. The only thing that's not serviced is the truck itself. I have to change the oil of the uh, the Dora Max engine and everything so this leak right here was fixed I just put a T here with this just in case I want to put an antifreeze system in the future uh, I just hook it up to this close this valve and feed it out of here to the pump and then the pump will feed it everywhere else okay and uh, inside it didn't do much other than just clean it up why is that extinguisher there? Not this one there, I don't know why this one is here. Let's get these out. The guys probably didn't know that it was in there. So other than cleaning it up and I put a screen there for the uh, backup camera. Uh, that's about it, not much in there to talk about. Now as far as uh, parts go to do the work yeah you strain it just in case you're getting a line with a bunch of grease put that hook that up to a pole and you can catch it and dump it somewhere just got your hook this I gotta put in the back this is to put cones which I, wow, I forgot about that I need to know. have a catch tray that will be uh, that that it, it pins on the uh, the fiberglass uh, poles that we have. A tiger tail. <clears throat> what do we got here? <laughs> Up here? I'll probably just put fittings in here. Oh, here's more of this stuff I was looking for. Here's just some tools, WD-40, duct tape, best friend, spacers. So standard nozzles actually came with these things. Quarter inch wall hook for the little holes, doing those grease lines and floor drains in the restaurants. This is a, a pretty cool gadget right here to have. So.
So that's the advantages of having a truck like this. You know? We'll deal with that later. All right, so the advantages of this truck is that you having the, the loader valve so close, you can jet, I mean, you can do four gallons a minute, you can do 29 gallons a minute. 20, actually 26 is what this truck does. You can do anything with it. You, you put any nozzle and it will work. All the excess, it would just go right to the tank. What's this nozzle doing here? Hmm. This is a flusher. This actually does a pretty good job. So we don't, <clears throat> and make sure we don't lose it. Right. So those cones, uh, that thing with the cones, I probably fit it out here somewhere. All right. Don't even know what I have in here. Some box you can put more crap. I would output my the, the bars and the, the pry bars and the hooks and things like that you put in here. I put the uh, the fiberglass poles I'm missing two. I wonder where the other two went. I wonder if I left them on the highway somewhere. I'm gonna probably weld a piece right here. I stop for this. That way they, they just stay in place. These LED lights were really, really nice. I topped it all with diesel, all three tanks. And put fresh hydraulic on. I haven't done the rims yet, but I think this is it. I'm not gonna do anything else with this truck other than work it and put it out on the road. I just put a brand new hose on it. And uh, again, I, I like it. I like the fact that it's just it's a, it, it runs really really smooth. Transmission is beautiful, and the, the engine only has 116,000 miles. So. These Duramax is you can get an easy 350,000 miles, no problem. So you got another 250,000 miles if I take care of this truck, if I change the oil and the filters, easy 200,000 miles. Shouldn't give you any problems other than minor, maybe uh, alternator, things like that, water pump or whatever. So what I'm going to use this truck is for maintenance. What I can do is, what I'll do here is basically I'll grab my calendar and all those maintenance jobs that we do, we'll try to schedule six or seven of them in one day and just fill up this truck with water and you just go bang them out, you know? Uh, and also besides, there is a, there is a, actually a, a a chance that I mean, we may run into a six inch line full of grease that we may need the power and the, and the water uh, and the water and the gallons per minute uh, of this machine. I like, like, I'm the type of guy that I like volume. I like water. I, other, other guys like pressure, but to me pressure unclogs the lines and travel for faster, but, but volume cleans the lines better obviously more water coming out of more jets will get you a better cleaner and that is what this truck is designed to do it's designed to maintenance lines you know to clean the pipes you know, a line that is back pitched or a grease line a restaurant that produces lots of grease and you know, that's what this thing is designed to do you know minimizes the uh, the, the, it just it just faster because the jetters that I have. What do you call them? The Spartan Warriors. They carry 160 gallons of water and running at 20 20 gallons a minute. You know you pretty much got five minutes and you need to go and tap up, be hooked to a to hole or go fill up and stop working and go fill up somewhere. So that this job now fills up fills up that gap and man did it did I, I love it this is besides the other vacuum truck that i just bought this is just a such a great looking truck i love the way it looks i love i love the way it runs i love how powerful the pump is and i tell you there's one guy on ebay selling the same type of truck 
I mean the equipment. I think it's a Harbin Jetter, but it's mounted on an Isuzu chassis, which let me tell you, it's way more uncomfortable than this. Because the Isuzu, you're pretty much sitting on the on on the axle. Here, you at least are kind of in the middle. It, they have very 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 comfortable seats. This truck, very comfortable seats. So this is way more comfortable than the Isuzu FDR that the guy has online on eBay. He said he was like 48 grand or something. And he's been in there for a while and it's gonna continue to be in there for a while. I don't think he'll sell that. You know, this one, I purchased it, fixed it, painted it a little bit, and just kind of like cleaned it up. And he ended up costing me close to, oh well with the hose too. It's a brand new hose, cost me almost two grand. So I'll say 18,000, between 18 and 19,000, ready to go. Can't beat it. I'm pretty sure I can list this truck for sale today and ask for 38 grand and I'll probably get it. I've no doubt I'll get it. But I'm keeping it. Probably gonna keep it forever. Uh, I like the fact that the people from uh, Harbin, I called them, I got his number. The, the representative, I have his phone number, actually, his cell phone number, and I can WhatsApp him, I can I can go ahead and, uh, what do you call it? I can FaceTime him, or with any problem, and he picks up the phone, and that I liked. If I have vendors that can help me like that, I'll keep their equipment forever, because that is worth a lot to me. So... There it is guys, so he's finished and I am going to take it to work next week and I'm gonna do some videos uh, on this truck. Now let's go ahead and test this nozzle. I just put the, uh, I forgot the name of that crap again. Glooping, uh, I think this lets it down. So let me go ahead and set up this uh, Warhawk nozzle and see if it works. That's beautiful, that worked out great.